How's it going everybody? My name is Kevin Griffith and this is the Holler Barbecue. So today I want to show you how I've been doing steaks on the Blackstone griddle. So sit right there and let's get to cooking. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I want to show you how I've been cooking steaks on the Blackstone. It's actually became one of my favorite go-to ways to cook a steak. Um, if you're looking for that, you know, solid crust across it, like a, you know, kind of like a diner cooks them. Um, but I, I want to show you how I've been doing it and how you can you know, get an excellent steak off of Blackstone. So to start off with, make sure you get a, a good quality cut of meat. You know, I recommend nothing lower than choice. Um, choice is a good cut. Um, you can find it in most grocery stores. Usually it's in their case. You have to go ask for it unless it's labeled choice on the, uh, on the, on the shelf out there. Um, this particular one, this is a, a New York strip. I got around Thanksgiving time at Costco. They were having a sale on their prime whole, basically the whole roll of prime strips. This came out to like, I don't know, $7 a pound after I cut it up and everything. Really good meat. I told my wife this last year, I wanted to get two of them, but we ended up not getting because it was a little bit bigger. Um, next year though, we'll probably get two of these things because we've been going through these things. You can see it's a beautiful piece of meat, tons of marbling in there. One thing you'll notice later once we're finished cooking is prime meat, because it, it has a lot more fat content in it. it. When you cut it, it doesn't have that bright red appearance when you usually cook meat you know as a, a medium medium rare steak it will have, be pretty pink to reddish through this one can hold a lighter pink color in it just because of the fat that's in it to start off with the only things i season my steaks up usually are of course black pepper this is the one i get from costco i like it and then jacobson sea salt this stuff is great All right, I'll try to do this. Keep one hand clean, one hand dirty. Get both sides. And, th and that's all I do for this steak to get it ready. Right now on the Blackstone, all we're doing here is I'm actually gonna turn it up almost as high as it'll go. Like it's a medium high heat, not all the way, um, but almost all the way. All right, so be sure to wait till your Blackstone or whatever flat top you're cooking on comes up to temp. Make sure you're not impatient because you want this thing, you know, at temp before you start cooking. Now what I like to do is I actually lay a little bit of butter down. You'll, you'll see why in a minute. I mean, you can do any other oil if you want, but for me, the, the butter gives a, an extra added taste to the steak in the crust itself. And then from here, I do two minutes and then we'll flip it. All right, two minutes has passed, or just about. So I'll lay, I will lay a little bit more butter down just so we can sear this other side really good. And hopefully I got the camera angle so it quits trying to do that autofocus constantly. It's already getting a beautiful crust on it. So another two minutes here. All right, that's been two minutes. So I do cook to temperature and not time. The reason I do two minutes on each side is just so that I know how long it's been going. Um, so I will cook to temp, but I like to keep it even on each side. So I do two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. And once we start getting to the end, I'll start going one minute, one minute. Um, but I'm going, I'm taking this steak to around 120 to 125-ish 
Only because it's prime meat and it needs to go a little bit lower. All right, we're up to eight minutes now. So now I'm gonna switch over to going one minute aside until we're done. I just checked it a minute ago and we we're sitting about just a little bit over 100. So it's not too much longer before it's done. Oh, and if anyone's interested, it's about, it's in the low 40s here. All right, so we're on our 10th minute right now and I just tempted, tempted it and we're sitting somewhere around just a little bit over 120, 121. So I'm gonna take it in and let it rest for a little bit and then we'll cut into it. So see you guys inside. All right guys, so it's really important to rest your meat. It's almost as important as the cook itself. It gets, see how all those juices are you know, coming back to the top and you know, getting all over the place. You want that before you just go cutting into it. Now, let me show you something. I don't know if I showed you guys. So I got this last year for Christmas. Not this last year, but a year before. Um, this is Dow Strong Gladiator Series. Just a set of steak knives they got me. I am enjoying these. I don't know if I ever showed you guys. You get a set of four, um, they cut really good. But without further ado, let's get into this steak real quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut it, do a whole cross section of it. All right, so like I was saying earlier, a prime steak, it's not as bright as other ones, but you can see this is still a, a medium, medium rare. I mean, I pulled this thing at about 122 degrees. So it's just a lot lighter, a lot lighter color on it. But the thing about Prime though, is you can almost cook these things done and they're still pretty dang good. So let me go ahead and get me nice piece <laughs> it's a good thing I don't have the money to buy these all the time because I would eat them all the time all right hope you see how easy it is so this was about a 10 minute cook but remember don't go buy time though use your thermometer and you can see the reason I was flipping it was to make sure that you know one side didn't get done more than the other, so that you get kind of even, even cooking around. All right, guys. So hopefully this was some good information for you, and this is going to be it for our steak on the Blackstone cook. As always, you got any questions or comments? Go ahead and put them below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And always, holler back.